Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and in this video, we're going to talk about 10 knives that I've had for this month that I do like quite a bit. Now, most of them I don't have a review out on yet, but we're going to talk about them. This is the Wii Esprit. Now, I don't have a full review up on this, and this is not a review. I will try to write down the name of all the knives in this video, so if you guys want to look up more information, you can. The Wii Esprit. This is not a cheap knife. It is a Ray Laconico, but I got to say, as of right now, it might possibly be my favorite Ray Laconico knife. I am liking it quite a bit. It has an orange peel finish, T8 titanium hardware, backspacer, and clip. Access to the lock, lock bars, um, pretty easy. And it is glassy smooth. Um, it's kind of hard to explain the type of smoothness I'm talking about here because, like, it almost feels like Teflon, but I mean that in a good way. If anybody, if any of you guys have ever felt Teflon when it's broken in and it's just so glassy smooth, that's the way this feels, but it's on ceramic caged bearings. It is a front flipper and thumb stud action. Both are really, really good. Has great acoustics. Got a little piece of thread under the clip. The clip works great, by the way. I know that's not a good representation. Let me blow that out of there. But the clip does work really good. It is inset with uh, flat screws. But yeah, I've been very impressed with this. Um, it is a flat ground drop point or spear point blade, whatever you want to call it. And it's pretty slicey. Um, nice and thin behind the edge i think it was about 14 thousandths behind the edge 14 15 thousandths now it is a flat grind so it's going to be a little bit more robust than a hollow grind but let's get to the next one now the next one i do have a full review on and they have the second pre-order um going right now so you can pre-order these or get on the pre-order as of right now this is the emp edc nimble and its fidget factor is off the chain you have so many forms of deployment from the flipper tab the front flipper thumb action or even the reverse flick and they all work extremely well very nice forward finger choil right there that you can it has a lot of room you can really take advantage of it beautiful blade shape it does have a more robust grind for such a small knife that'd probably be my biggest uh complaint but it's still very slicey i mean this thing will cut just fine so i'm not you know it's not hardly even a complaint they do have multiple versions of this this one is the frag pattern version they have just flat titanium too with uh, multiple different colors and it is very very beautiful great looking knife this it's also an m390 and they are numbered as you can see so if you want to see the full review of this i do have it up on my channel next this one i've been liking a lot a lot a lot my giant mouse ace grand now the ace grand is an l max steel now i haven't had a ton of experience with l max but i will say i'm liking it i'm liking it quite a bit and i'm starting to wonder why we're not seeing more of it or why we haven't it hasn't been around that long i think 2017 it came out I think that's true. I'm not 100% on that. So don't quote me on that. I did put a nice, beautiful mirror edge on it. And it is wicked shop. Wicked, wicked shop. It did take a fantastic edge. The micarta. Some of my favorite micarta are giant mouse. Giant mouse's micarta. They just they do an amazing job. Their micarta is really, really good quality. The fibers are nice and tight. Nice and even. They're not splotchy in any way, and it's it's got a nice texture in the hand. It feels really, really warm and just nice and comfortable. Now, it does have the deep carry reversible spring, or um, not spring, um, wire pocket clip. 
that is deep carry and it works fantastic. I do feel it in the hand a bit, but I'm not that worried about it. One of my biggest complaints, which I'm going to address in the review, is the access to the lock bar. So I'll probably make a video um, making this better because it does drive me nuts. It is my one complaint. If not for that, man, this thing, I love it. It is a very slicey flat ground blade while still being very robust. So it's kind of that medium category, but it's, it is thin, not thin, thin, but it is nice and thin behind the edge for slicing and being a full flat grind. It cuts really, really well, extremely well, especially when you lay back the edge like I did. I did put a nice 17 degree edge bevel on here. So slice is great. Now, being that you have such good ergos, it makes up for it being a little bit more robust. So the knife makes sense and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So review is coming very soon on this one. Next. Now, this one, I need to get the review done on it. This is the O knife, um, OEM'd by Kaiser. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm not a big fan of the, the shiny blue clip or hardware. I don't mind the thumb stud, but it is stupid smooth. The detent is so well tuned. I can tell Kaiser did it. I can tell 2021 Kaiser did it. Let me make that clear because 2021 Kaiser is they, they are hitting home runs. <laughs> they really are access to the liner. Very, very easy fall shut action. Yet the detent is super. I mean, it's crisp, very, very crisp detent within the thumb studs. Luckily you have a lot of leverage on it because it is uh, a nice strong detent, but man, it works so good. Beautiful sheep's foot blade that is very, very slicey. Nice forward finger choil, nice large forward finger choil. And this is an N690, so good mid-grade steel, um, somewhat of a budget steel nowadays. Contoured G10, very, very comfortable in the hand, very slicey, easy to carry. Just a great knife, fantastic. They did a good job on it, um, you know like all knives i do have some complaints but we'll have to see the review for you know there's going to be this isn't a review guys so a lot of details will come out in the review next this one is on pre-order now this is the alien knives midi dx2 i loved love love the big version of this but those are all sold out so they did make a smaller version which this is a three inch blade very very smooth the detent is well tuned for thumb for thumb stud action or the flipper tab. Um, drop point blade with a nice. This one's got a flat grind. The larger version had a hollow. Beautiful sharpening choil. Perfect sharpening choil. It's not a finger choil, but they did it perfect with the plunge grind and everything. Access to the liner is really good. Great action. Deep carry clip. This might be the biggest uh, problem for lefties, though, is that clip because right here kind of pokes up a little bit. So if you're lefty, it, it does poke you in the hand when you're trying to close it and deploy it. But in the right hand, it, it's fine. Um, and, you know, it's not a problem in the right hand. But, yeah, 14C28N. Nice steel. Love that steel. These things are only 100 bucks. I'm not positive, but I think concept is only... OEMing this. I know they OEM'd the big version. Pretty sure they're doing this one too. And they're doing a great job as well. Next. And like I said, guys, I'm going to link as much as I can down in the description. This one. I, ha I have had this one longer than a month. However, I kind of misplaced it for a couple weeks. So I, you know, I, there are some knives that, you know, I have so many knives on the table and everything else that I can't get to them all at once. And for me to do an authentic, good review, I, you know, I, I sometimes I have to just leave knives to the side, finish what I got on the table, then bring those ones forward instead of flopping back and forth to where I never really get a good feeling of the knife. This one, I think I'm ready for the review now, but I have had it for, you know, a little while. Um, amazing, amazing detent on this thing. The detent, I know the flipper tab's nice and big, but... Holy cow, is the action incredible on this. And the next thing, which is 
probably the best thing in my opinion next to that action almost a full hollow grind a very tall hollow grind for the short blade nice and thin this thing is a slicer um the one negative thing though is it is not drop shutty at all at least my example is not at all so you do want to just close it like that maybe other people's i don't know if you have a kaiser dukes let me know down in the description or in the description down in the comments if yours is drop shutty or is is mine a fluke um i'd like to know anyways fantastic deployment though not a deep carry clip but a clip that works great and if you don't like this contoured um multicolored g10 they do have other versions available this one is an n690 i really like this knife guys i really really do next now this one I can't wait to do the review on this. Um, I am testing the steel. I do have to sharpen it still, but I'm, I was trying to get the most out of the edge. I don't expect the factory edge to do that well. Um, this one's been holding up pretty decent, though, surprisingly. I mean, I thought at first it wasn't, but um, after hitting it on the strap, man, it just it seemed like it's, it's really... It's, it's kicking, man. It's kicking really good. But this steel is known to strap back very, very well. So, but anyways, the ARRPM9 steel, I'm testing it out for this review. Once again, I really want to get a good idea on how this steel is. But the knife, the knife itself, I think it's around $70, $80. I think $70. But holy cow, I'm liking this knife, guys. I really am. It reminds me of my Hinder XM18 just a slimmer version because it is very slim so that is one thing like even though it is a full-size knife it is very slim titanium clip and um uh pivot collar and thumb studs which all the deployments work amazingly well the detent is very very well tuned access to the liner is really good the action is incredible and yeah i'm loving this knife guys i really am so We'll see uh, what happens next. Now this one, I recently kind of gotten, I got it like a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago, but I like it. I do. I don't like that it's 8CR 13, 8CR 18 MOV or 13 MOV, whatever the steel is, but it's only $24.99, $24.99. And for that price, whatever man that steel's great for that price um 8cr really is not a bad steel the steel is just fine it's almost as good as a 440c almost as good as a 9cr but it's not quite there it is not not as good i'm not saying it's as good i'm just saying it's under that but not that far under now but for 25 bucks with this knife this knife a great knife if you like uh, have big hands or should i say if you like f big knives if you like full-size knives this thing is a great slicer nice big big knife uh the ac the action is stupid smooth the detent is very very well tuned not a deep carry clip which also is good for the people with larger hands you do not feel that clip at all and this is very slim stainless steel um frame lock so it's definitely going to be strong and this type of stainless you know it's not going to rust on you at least it shouldn't you know as long as you take care of it so i'm personally not worried about it i guess depending on where you live now the um the 8 hr 13 mov 8 hr 13 mov is nice and stainless so you shouldn't have to worry about rust with it and it does have a beautiful stone washing I do like this knife, man. I do wish it was a little bit better steel, but like I said, for the 25 bucks, I'm not complaining. Next, two more. Or wait, three more. Sorry, three more. The Civivi Keen Natter. Man, this thing's been impressive. Oh, it, it, it's so smooth. So, so smooth. Multiple different deployments. You have the thumb studs, the flipper tab. Both of them work fantastic. And you have the fuller that you can flick off of. Nice and slim in the hand while still being a full size. We have a dual grind, a hollow and a flat. So you can get a little bit more robust type of cutting or 
very light duty prying maybe with this front section. Then we have a recurve section right here with a secondary tip for opening things up. I have shown this a few times. Um, not quite ready for the review. I have brought it to work. I have used it um, quite a bit, but I'm, I'm not ready yet. So, but the mic, it does have micarta scales and there are multiple different versions of this different types of micarta yada 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 the steel is i think n6 yeah n690 steel it's so tiny n690 steel and yeah deep carry clip and these things are relatively affordable so you're getting a great great quality knife here especially for the price a lot of people aren't going to be too happy with the recurve, but I'm not mad at it. I like them. I don't mind it. Um, they are a little bit more difficult to sharpen, but next. Ooh, we have the Miguron Centurion. Now, the Miguron Centurion has been very impressive to me. One, you have a big fat handle here, so the Ergos are insane they are such good ergos this is super super comfortable then the clip the way that clip sits and how it's kind of contoured you do not feel it in the hand access to the lock bar really really good fall shut action the detent on the flipper tab is nice and tuned for both the, the thumb stud and the flipper tab Ooh. and this is a bolster lock you can reverse flick the thumb stud. It is a bolster lock. We have the blue carbon fiber. They have different colors. So I think they have red as well. Then we have a titanium frame lock. Nice and comfortable. Nice and smooth. It feels really good to the touch. The thumb studs have this little tiny chamfer around the edge. So it has a little bit of grip, which I do like. So the deployment's really nice. Now the blade is a robust blade. Right here, it's um, a lot more slicey than it is right here. If you really look, you can see how it has a dual grind. So the tip is nice and robust for whatever you're going to do that's a little bit harder use. And then it's a little more slicey right here. But even though the blade is robust, it's, it's okay because your grip is so strong with this knife that it feels nice cutting with it. Now, its the edge is not great. This is a factory edge. I don't think Megaron's doing the best factory edges. Um, I'm not saying they're they're uh, burnt or anything like that. I'm just saying they're they're not that sharp. So, in order for me to really get the full experience out of this, I might have to sharpen it. But the knife overall, I'm liking a lot. Now, last but not least, we have the Tucson TS319. Bought this one from Lefty EDC. Shout out to Lefty. Wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it is a smaller knife. However, even though it is a smaller knife, full four finger grip. I can get a full grip on it. Even back here, I can pretty much get a four finger grip. But since I do have this nice forward finger choil, it does work out really good. The detent is well tuned for the spidey flick. You can also thumb flick it, by the way. I like the acoustics that come out of it. 14C28M blade steel. Tucson does a good job with it. Not the biggest fan of the clip. However, it's okay. Not the best. They didn't make it tight to the scale, so I'm not too worried about it. Beautiful carbon fiber. Nice milling around the pivot and micro milling down here on the scales. Liner is easy to get to. I love that ting. Listen. Spidey flick is great. Now, the blade and geometry is slightly robust. Eh, it's robust. But, you know, you do... It is thick. So, this is a thick boy. Um, by the way, this company has the thick boy coming. An actual knife named the thick boy. 
but this is a thick boy so you do get a good grip on it so it being a little bit more robust i'm not too mad at now it is possibly a little bit more robust than it should be for this size knife but the tip is going to work just the same so if you're getting it for utility cuts it's going to work fantastic and if you need to slice every once in a while it's going to work just fine just fine but it's not going to be your which it's not that kind of knife anyways, but it's not going to be your all day cardboard slicing destroying knife. You know, it's just a little bit too robust for that, but it will work just fine for when you do need it for that. So as a re regular EDC, it's going to be great. And yeah, the reviews coming soon on this. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.